Hello, this is Vern, and if you want to learn how to attract a high-quality guy that you feel very attracted to versus the guy who likes you but you don't feel anything for, stick around because I'm about to reveal how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And I'm super pumped today because I'm going to be sharing with you how to create the connection, the attraction, the aliveness, the spark with the kind of guy that you want, that you admire, versus the kind of guy who likes you but you feel nothing towards. Uh, that's a big challenge that so many women that I get a chance to connect with show. So I, I thought to myself this morning, I'm going to come up with a five step way that gives you the highest potential to reach that guy and hit him in the heart where he wants to connect with you versus the guy who thinks you're amazing but you say, well, he's, eh, he's not my guy. Okay, the first key to make this thing work where you can connect to amazing men is stop putting this man on a fucking pedestal. <laughs> and the big challenge that I see when women put men on a pedestal is that when they connect with a guy, they are not themselves, they are not being expressive, they are worried about the guy liking them and that dissonance between you being amazing and showing off as someone who's not amazing creates the opposite of attraction with a guy, it creates him saying, wow, like there's something off here, she's not as valuable. It's not something he's logically thinking, he's just an essence. Everything that I'm talking about here is just an energy. It's very subtle, but when he feels the energy of like, oh, she's not that cool, he doesn't want to connect with you, that doesn't inspire him to want to pursue you. Number two is make the goal of connecting to an amazing guy, guy non-specific to a man. I'm gonna say this again because it's so important. Stop saying, I want this guy to be my guy. If you have a goal that's, I want to connect to a guy who's amazing, who's handsome, who takes care of his health, who's successful, who's driven, who's conscious, who is kind-hearted, that is amazing. But if you go from that to saying, it has to be him, you've already lost. Why? Because you're going to show off in a way that doesn't make that guy want you. But if you say, I want to connect with that type of guy, this guy seems to exhibit those qualities. I'm going to connect with him. And if he's not that guy, then it's okay. I can still connect to someone else. It's the principle of abundance that I've been talking to you about in so many of my videos. Believe in that, stand true to that, and connect to guys with more of that feeling like if he's not it, awesome, somebody else will be. Number three, show your alive self without holding back. And here's what I mean by that. Most women, when they connect to a guy that they feel is pretty amazing, they stop being themselves. They stop bringing it. They stop. They think that if they show up a certain way, that the guy is not going to judge them. News alert, that guy is going to judge you no matter what. So if he's going to judge you, he might, well, might as well judge you for the amazing one you are versus the shy woman that you're pretending to be when you don't step into your bigness, okay? So fuck that feeling of I need him to like me. Just connect to being alive and happy and let the rest play on its own. Number four, if you want to connect with a guy, you don't have too much time. Ask him a question that allows him to shine. And here's why. Because men love to feel like men. Men love to feel like they can be your hero. Men love to feel like they can be successful. They can be uh, someone that you get to admire. So if when you connect to the guy, you ask him a question that lets him talk about himself, that lets him express part of what makes him excited, part of what makes him passionate, part of what makes him alive, he's going to create that feeling of yes. It's an inner feeling of yes as he's connecting with you. That's going to create a strong resonance where next time he thinks of you, he's going to feel her equals that feeling of, yes, I'm a man. So if you get a chance, you only have a little bit of time to connect with this guy that you meet somewhere, ask him questions that let him shine. Number five, super important. If you listen to nothing else, I left it at the end because it's probably the most important of all. Up your standard for what you consider to be an amazing man. Most women have a very shallow definition of what makes an amazing guy. It's a guy who's tall, smart, successful, kind, uh, whatever, like the long list of things. That within itself is shallow if the guy doesn't want you, if the guy doesn't think that you're amazing, if he doesn't think that you're awesome, he's not a great catch. <laughs> he's not a great catch to you. He's not an amazing man to you. You want to connect to a guy who first and foremost, in addition to any qualities he has, he has that hunger for connecting with you. So if the guy that you're connecting with, you feel like he has amazing qualities, but he doesn't think you're great, he doesn't feel hunger for you, just let him go. You will never be happy with a guy that you feel proud about who doesn't feel proud of you. So if you think this is important, powerful, exciting, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, if you do nothing else, 
on the screen right here, somewhere here, or on the description of the video, either one of the two, there's gonna be a button or a link that allows you to sign up for my free live webinar that's going to guide you into a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. It's super powerful. Thousands of women have already gone through this, finding great, amazing connections. So uh, go for it. If you have any questions for me, write a comment below. Let me know what questions you might have on this. If you think this is great, if you think I'm full of shit, anything. I'll be happy to answer and reply personally. Thank you for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.